Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So very, very exciting day around the Castle Custom Shop today. The radio, my original radio from the 91 Vert has finally arrived. Now, I gotta be honest with you, this was, there was a little bit of a, a butt pucker that went on throughout this whole process. So this thing went all the way down to Indiana and then had the work done and then it got shipped back. Now that all happened about 20, six days ago when it got shipped back to me and this thing has bounced across the country three times. I don't know how the Canada Post screwed this up so bad but like epic epic disaster and as a lot of you know these radios have hit the trash they're getting hard to find right people tear them out of their cars and didn't want anything to do with them and they're hard to come by um, especially this one that's had a bunch of work done to it and money spent on it. So anyway, I was getting a little worried, but uh, thank goodness there was some good folks within that organization that uh, listened to me and tracked it down and finally got it to me. So I haven't even opened the box yet. I literally don't even know what it looks like. I was going to crack the box with you guys and go through throwing it in. Not a really intense install, right? It's a plug and play type situation, but uh, nonetheless, you can see this thing work for the first time and, and listen to it for the first time. I hope. If there's a, a change in the sound quality through the Bluetooth sound, um, you guys can pick up on that through the mic and stuff. But uh, yeah, and I wanted to throw a huge shout out to the guy that actually got me in touch with the fella, Mr. Todd Lane, that did all this work for me. Um, Calypso Coyote on Instagram. I'll, I'll put his, uh, his info on the screen here for you. This guy's a great dude, loves helping out the Fox Body community, and I just wanted to mention him on the video and let him know that I really appreciate his time, and uh, yeah, good guy. So track that fella down on there, guys. He's a wealth of knowledge and a really solid dude. So anyway, he's the one that got me in touch with this Todd Lane, and Todd Lane has also been an absolute saint. This guy is obviously a wizard with these radios and does very, very amazing things. So um, I will, He's kind of tricky to get in touch with. You got to do it through Facebook and there's a handful of Todd Lanes in the world. So um, probably the best way that I've been getting folks in touch with Todd is um, showing like through a, a DM or an email or whatever. I'll show you a picture of what his uh, profile picture looks like. And then you can message him through Facebook, get in touch if you're interested in doing something like this in your car. So without further ado guys, let's get this box cracked and see what we got inside. All right, newspaper. I don't see those around very often. We got some instructions to connect this radio via Bluetooth. Very cool. Well, Todd, if you're watching this, very nice pack job. Holy Dinah. Wow. Look at that beauty. Brand new. Unreal. Yeah, so I mean, as far as beautifying this radio is concerned, I was missing the, I think it was rewind button. Um, my faceplate was all beat up and faded. He has somewhere where he can track down these replacement faces. Um, but anyway, I know, I, I mean, I think if you've seen one of these before, you've seen them all, they're all kind of the same deal. I I don't know if he's freshened up any of the light bulbs in there. I'm not too sure how that all works. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my um, little cubby bolted on here and then we'll, uh, we'll get this tucked in the car and see how she sounds.
Okay, so we got sound. That's a good thing. That's the sound we want. Okay. Need my phone. All right, guys. So we're plugged in. Uh, we've checked for power. Now, I'll try and show you to my best, the best of my abilities, what we got going on here. So, got to turn the radio on. Set the radio to FM. Activate Bluetooth on your phone. And look for DROKBT. Well, I'm going to guess that that sound was a good thing. Well, let's find out. We are literally playing off of my phone. Crazy. Okay, so now just for fun, let's just see how this all works. So, it says here, okay, phone's not connected to this DROKBT. But then we turn the car on, or stereo on. What happens here? I guess we should turn the stereo on too. Oh, I didn't touch that. That just connected. There you go. Okay, one more time here, guys, just so you believe me. Okay, stereo off. Okay, our power off to the stereo. Stereo on, go into, oh geez, there you go, just connects. Crazy. So it connects just kind of like your new vehicles do. Now I don't know, so let's go So it must run through an FM channel. Through 87.9, I'm assuming. I don't know, it runs through any FM channel. What happens if I want to listen to just straight up FM? Hmm. Maybe that's a question for Todd, I don't know.
I don't know if you still have FM or not here, guys. Oh, I bet you do. If you... Hang on. Oh, there you go. Okay. Turn off Bluetooth and you get FM. Okay. Turn on Bluetooth. See what happens here with DROKBT. If it connects or if I gotta tell it to. Okay, there you go. And we're back to Bluetooth. Apparently. Yep. Very cool. Okay, so we figured it out. You want to go to just regular old FM? Turn your Bluetooth off and you're back to FM. There you go. Too cool. Now I gotta figure out if I can remember how to set this clock. All right guys, there you go. So pretty slick. Now obviously had some figuring out to do as I went. I wasn't sure if you lost all FM channels or not, but apparently you don't. Turn your Bluetooth off on your phone. It kicks you out of the, the Bluetooth activation in the radio and you get your FM channels too. So. AM, FM, Bluetooth, and cassette. <laughs> I'd have to go digging deep to find an old cassette, but um, yeah, very neat. Um, first, like initial impressions on the sound, I don't know, I'll maybe do a little fiddling with it, but it doesn't seem to me that there's any better sound than what there was previously. So using a, uh, like a Bluetooth um, music source. Now, keep in mind too though, my rear speakers are the original Ford premiums. Uh, front speakers are better. I'm just using the stock stereo and the stock little football amp underneath the um, climate controls. So nothing fancy. Um, what I'm looking forward to, and I've been chatting with some of you guys in the comments about this, is uh, seeing if I can wire up an amp, which I think I'll just have to do that through a speaker wire pre-output amp and maybe put a little subwoofer in there or uh, and or some better speakers and try and run a little bit more power to them. So um, yeah, hopefully the feed through that, because I mean, it'll be a speaker feed through either the football lamp or the stock stereo. Anyway, we got, got some figuring to do here. But anyway, guys, upcoming stuff. I actually, um, I just got a little delivery from LMR the other day and just sort of some odds and ends. Um, I had a new fuel neck to fuel tank um, gasket seal. Uh, yeah, there's the new one. Check this out versus the old one. A little bit better seal in there, hey? <laughs> um, I was getting a, a pretty decent leak there. So uh, change that out. Got some new console pieces. I got to, like I said earlier, I'm working on rebuilding this console. Um, actually, I replaced the pedals. These guys, specifically the brake and the gas, were shot. These are the old ones. I've already put the new ones in. They turned out pretty good. Freshened up my floor. Um. And what else came in that box? Oh, new floor mats. Well, I guess you just kind of saw those. Uh, this car didn't have any. And this is actually kind of a funny one, but it, it's got a bit of a sweetheart ending to it. So um, I got new decals for the body kit. So the black Mustang GT on both sides and on the back uh, bumper valance. So I got new inserted black decals. So check this out. This is what shows up. I got Two, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Two Mustang GTs and one Mustang T. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I sent a late night email to LMR and like, bang, first thing in the morning, they were calling me going, this is crazy, how did this happen? Boom, the new ones were in the mail. Like, you can't be service like that, you know? 
um, especially little old me all the way up here in Canada. So thanks LMR, if you're watching, really appreciate it. Uh, very, very solid customer service there. So yeah, I was gonna maybe do a video on that. I don't know how many of you guys have like cracked or missing or faded decals. Um, just maybe go through how to set those in there. And lots of other cool stuff coming up too, guys, so stay tuned. Anyway, um, questions, comments, please hit me up. I'll get you in touch with Todd if you're interested in doing a stock stereo with a Bluetooth in it like this. Um, I think it's pretty neat. And I'm hoping to, like I say, maybe get a little bit better sound quality out of this thing uh, through some other aftermarket tweaks and twists. But that's going to come at a later date. Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please share this with all your friends, Fox friends. Actually, just Mustang friends, period. I think Todd can work on any of these. For sure, I know he likes these. He's got a Fox himself. So um, that's a guarantee. But uh, maybe I'll reach out to him and find out and report back if he works on the newer stuff. Like, you know, that 93, more digital-faced and up radio. Um, I don't know if he can add Bluetooth into those or not. So um, anyway, hit me up. I'll get you in touch with them, guys. And uh, as always, thanks very much for watching. Please get this out there to all your Mustang friends. I really appreciate it. I hope I can help them out too. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.